So hello, good day. Today I will be creating. We are here at the dashboard of Amazon Day Namo DB. So first, uh, let's uh, start our um, um, uh, DB um, for uh, first we need to create a table. So let's create a table. Name, let's name it. Let's create the table. So let's wait to be uh, active. This that is creating. Uh, let's wait for it. And as you can see here, see here, Dynamo is creating. It will be available soon. So here you can see here it is active now. So let's click that. And let's create an item for that. Uh, as you can see here, the, the dashboard of the Avaria DB. So let's actions, let's create item. As you can see here, let, I am creating an item. Let's um, use um, student or one let's add a string or last name or first name first name let's value myself and then let's add attribute let's last name and then follow up and then add attribute as long as you want to add attribute to what you want to be uh, there in that item let's you can really do it then number um, age and then let's create a boolean single two and then that's it and then let's create that item uh, as you can see here completed I uh, completed it I we successfully created the item and here as you can view here um, here are the um, data that we uh, create I um, put it and then let's um, explore view and explore that you can see here explore item and then here as you can see let's click that you can save or uh, you can uh, uh, you can edit that you see or uh, if you want to add some attribute on it you can do that and then you can do that let's add okay and then um, favorite number and then zero seven and then let's save it as you can see here here it is let's wait for it let's refresh it Here is the favorite number I edited a while ago. Here is the favorite number. And then let's create another item for demonstrations. For other demonstration, let's create student 2. 
then add attribute um, string name Rogelio and then add attribute string last name and then uh, last name and Cruz Let's create that item. You can see here. Let's wait for it. So you can see here. The other thing, the other side or the other attribute that I created was not available there because just we just um, created the other attribute and name it differently. So it is it is here and the other thing is not available and it is based on the table that we created a while ago so let's you can uh, qu in query you can um, search for the student id or is student name let's run it here yeah, you can see here you can view it here and then if it is true let's run it then yeah here you can see here the table two for student so that's it let's view let's view panel and then tables which is here yeah if you want to delete it you can clearly delete it by is uh, doing it in here just click that and delete and then confirm here but in my case i will not delete that for for uh, some reason <laughs> I want to remain that okay that's it for this video thank you so much